the basic foundation for what we've been able to achieve with collaboration um, is comprised of the following things. Uh, the first one is attitude and vision that we deeply believe that that a collection of people know no more than the sum of what's in those people's heads. And we have from the very beginning been committed to a series of things that that will let us take in knowledge information out of a head, put it someplace where others can use it more effectively. Uh, that's not new. That was from from day one. We committed to several things, which in retrospect seemed very simple, but at the time felt like a big deal to us. Um, the first was sharing of all of the of the artifacts that we were working on. So we committed from the very beginning to storing every artifact that was being worked on by somebody at RF in a way that it could, was searchable and findable by everybody else. Um, we we owe some of that learning to Ernst and Young, our predecessor firm. Uh, that went through a whole knowledge sharing revolution and we were part of that. We became converts and believers. Um, the second big thing was methodology. That <clears throat> It's one thing to just stare, have documents floating around, but if those documents are not structured organically in a way that made them similar, it was going to be hard to connect dots from one to the other. So we made a big commitment early to, to both creating a methodology uh, and then committing to, to using that. So you'll find documents over the past 20 years, work plans that have some of the basic terminology. So I know that design stuff happens at the beginning and build stuff happens in the middle and deploy stuff happens at the end. We use those, that language over and over again, which accelerates how fast someone new can pick up a, an artifact from one place and learn from it, an artifact from another place and learn from it. We've taken away some of that friction. Um, and the third thing I think was a an ongoing commitment to making sure that people were talking to each other and responding to each other. Um, that it has never been okay to stiff arm somebody who's asking for knowledge. It's never been okay to protect your knowledge as somehow your own and secret while you work here. Your knowledge belongs to all of us. Um, and I, I think I think we have modeled that from um, the founders all the way through the organization um, that we'll talk to anybody at any time and we'll share what we know with anyone at any time. So I think those three those three things are together. This knowing knowing that we had to we had to seed that knowledge base from the beginning and commit to it, having a methodology so that each of those artifacts could be correlated to others, and then ensuring that at, a, at an individual human level uh, we were living the principles of collaboration and sharing every day.